case of chain passing. On the overlap, Brazil will score. Dummies and goes Tyrone Roberts. That is his specialty. Hello everyone, welcome to Rab's Rant for this Friday on the eve of the rise for Alex round 19 of the National Rugby League and what a start last night on the footy show. We do hope you thoroughly enjoyed that and well done to everyone at the Nine Network for being involved in that. Now, the world's greatest cameraman Trevor Bush was there and he had a million stories to tell about last night. How good was it? Let's have a look at the tips this weekend and I hope you're doing a lot better than I am because I'm having a shock of the last couple of weeks. Sharks and the Cowboys. If the Cowboys are to make a run for the finals, they've got to win this one. Well, they haven't won a game away from home this, uh, this year so far, but I think this will be the weekend. I think they'll start tonight. I think they'll beat the Sharks. Paul Gallon out for the Sharks. Eels and the Rabbitohs. Gee, this is an important game for both clubs. They're both hovering in that uh, eight scenario. The, Rabbit or the Rabbitohs aren't too far away from the top of the uh, echelon. And I think they will beat Parramatta. Uh, Jared Hayne comes back for Parramatta, but they were belted 48-0 last week by the Warriors. I'm going to tip the Rabbitohs. But the Rabbitohs need to aim up too. Roosters and Panthers, probably one of the matches of the weekend. Didn't know really which way to go here. Penrith flying high on the top of the ladder and doing really, really well. The Roosters have had a think tank this week and I think that might just spur them into action. I'm going to tip the Roosters to beat the Panthers in what is going to be a fabulous game of footy. Storm and the Raiders, can't see anything else but a Storm victory here. The big three now will get over the bumps and bruises of a state of origin and be back to club footy. They got beaten last week, but I think they'll bounce back and I think they'll beat the Raiders. The Broncos and the Warriors, this is the other match of the round. The Broncos were sensational last week, coming back from all gone for all money. To level it up at 34 all against Penrith. The Warriors, on the other hand, absolutely thumped Parramatta at 48 nil, as I mentioned before. But I think the Broncos at home may very well test the Warriors. Great clash this one. Broncos by a couple. The Knights and the Titans. Well, how emotional is this going to be over there at Hunter Stadium on Sunday? And I just hope the emotion doesn't get to the Knights players. I don't think it will. I think Benny will be able to marshal his troops. They'll concentrate on the footy. Then they can celebrate later on in having a win over the Titans uh, for young Alex McKinnon. So I think the Knights will beat the Titans. Tigers and the Bulldogs. I think the Bulldogs will win this one. They're playing some very, very good footy at the moment. They've got Reynolds out of the side, but they've been able to cover. Morris may be out of the side, but I don't think it'll matter. I think the Bulldogs will have too much strength for the Tigers at ANZ Stadium. And finally on Monday night, this is my smoky for the weekend, the Dragons and Manly. Now, Manly are on top of the ladder at the moment. The Dragons have won their last three on the trot and are going very, very well under Paul Mary McGregor. And I think they will respond to the speculation that Bennett may go to the Dragons. Everyone wants Mary McGregor to stay. And I think on the back of that, at Wind Jubilee Oval, I think the Dragons might cause an upset here. I'm going to tip the Dragons to beat Manly. If you can get to a game this weekend, please do so, because you will help young Alex McKinnon. A dollar from every ticket sale will go to Alex. Enjoy your footy this weekend. Look forward to your company next week.